Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to show you how to create a mobile friendly menu using Astra. Let's get started by heading to the customizer by either clicking on customize here or over here on our dashboard, hover over Astra and click on customize. Okay, so first things first, when we have our mobile menu, let's bring it up here by going on the bottom of the left sidebar and clicking either the tablet or the smartphone icons. And you can see that our menu and button over here disappear. And we are greeted by this hamburger icon that gives us different options. Now, in a previous video, I've moved this button from here into here, just so that we can make this mobile friendly. I've also moved the About Me page underneath Contact, but we can also make our own pages and customizations. Now, if we were to go to our blog over here and select a blog post, we could enable our sidebar here. Okay, real quick. And we'll, oh, because we are on narrow, let's put it back to normal. Okay, we can enable our sidebar here, and that's going to be useful. But if we go over to our mobile version, our sidebar will be on the bottom. And that's fine and all. And we can just move back to narrow and not have to deal with our sidebar at all. But what if we wanted to make it a bit easier? As of the moment, we can't really change whether or not we enable or disable the sidebar based on whether we're on mobile or not. However, as an example, let's, oops, let's make it normal width and we'll enable the sidebar here. And let's see how we can condense this and make it easy for us also to navigate without having to scroll all the way down just by clicking on here. So let's do this and let's customize and configure our menu. Let's click on that and we can click on off canvas menu. Okay, and then we can toggle visibility here and enable or disable the divider. You'll see this disappear. Right, those lines, and then we can put them back there and we can change the, the design here and the spacing and so on. And Keep in mind that you kind of want to have spacing because if you put it close together, it would be easy to use, especially with the menu font being this specific size. Now, if you can imagine trying to navigate this page using your smartphone, how hard it would be to see and to even click on one of these. So you want to have a decent font size here and some spacing just to be able to differentiate between these so you don't accidentally click either one. And if you have a frustrated user, they're not going to use your site. And of course, margins, we can set this to zero and you'd see it puts it to the edges. If we put it 15, it puts it in a nice spot inside so you don't accidentally press on them. We'll keep the links and colors this way just so you can see what we're working with. And let's configure the menu from here. Our mobile menu, another term for it is off canvas menu. So we're here with mobile menu here, we can click on edit. And we can see here exactly what we're dealing with. So we have our front page here and we can change the navigate names and we can change the blog. We can say archive. Okay, when we click on that, it says archive. And we can put these under submenus. So this becomes a sub item to home. And let's just refresh this real quick. And let's head over there. And it should, oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, we'll keep this here. Okay, and we can add categories. So instead of having instead of having okay
Oops. Instead of having the sidebar, we can put the categories under here and we can put it underneath our archive and or our blog, uh, yes, our blog archive and we can scroll up here and you can see that we have the categories here. So let's say we wanted to order it again by, uh, let's see, on categorize, there's another good one here. We can reorganize this and put even further sub items, sub sub items. And if we clicked on our hamburger menu, we'd go on archive, travel, and we'd, we'd go as far as possible. And it would serve the same function as our as our sidebar options down here. You see archives, May 2024, okay? And we can copy that. And now we can add a custom link, okay? So this will be the custom link and uh, May 2024, you can add that to the menu. And now we can put it under our Archive. There we go. And once we click on, okay, archive categories. Once we click on this, we have archive. We now have dates and we now have further categories. See? So I clicked on this to take us to the travel ones. If I clicked on this, it would take us to whatever posts we have from May 2024. So you can go as wild as you want with this, but keep in mind that the more that you add here, the more our user is going to have to scroll down and you might as well just leave the sidebar in place at the bottom. But it really depends on our application. So if your, your blog is really focused on blogging and archiving and categories, use your discretion, of course. So we will try to use the least amount of submenus as possible in order to keep it as compact as and usable as possible. Okay, so that looks good. We can finally publish it because we've set up our how it looks, the appearance, the design, and the contents of our mobile menu. Now, if you double check, none of those options are here. If we went over to the blog, blog archive that is, and we went over to a page, a post, excuse me, we'd have everything here. And if we were to go to the mobile one, it would all be at the bottom. So how do we navigate easier? We click on this and we have our archive and everything. Back to the desktop, everything disappears and it's much easier to just use the sidebar here. So let's double check our site here that we didn't destroy anything on the live site for our desktop. And we can also double check our site from our desktop by pressing F12, okay? And this icon here on typical Chromium-based browsers, toggle device toolbar, it changes our site to a mobile one. And, our, and you can see this cursor turns into a pointer and we can double check that our mobile menu works. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it really helps us out with the channel. The YouTube algorithm showed this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.